Okay. Paul, do I want to buy this Dawn of War 2 Retribution special this weekend? What just you happened? You absolutely do. Yep. That's the <laughs> RTS. <strategy>. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about it's like, let's go. And then all of a sudden yeah, it's bye. like, hey, what's your favorite color? It's like, what? <laughs> what's what's going on here? Are we starting early? Mm hmm. Been here for an hour. <coughs> yeah. Paul's been here for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> We're blaming Google this time. Blaming Google? Yeah. It's all it didn't matter. It, was it did. It showed me EST. Somewhere I saw that. Oh, I didn't yeah. know. I'm sorry. No, not your fault. Yeah, we just. Like I said, a minor detail that I may have overlooked. Yeah. Dun, dun. Um, um, okay. Well, I guess we do sponsors in line, so we'll just do um, a uh, title. Who's doing the title? Wes. Oh, Wes is doing the title. Is it my turn? Sweet. Mm hmm. And so you can just take the actual title and then record the recorded on. Okay, gotcha. <coughs> me, 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 me. <coughs> I have fast food throat. You can't see it, but yeah, my favorite team, it's right there. It's under the chicken's butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of hot. <laughs> Yikes. <coughs> you have to clean this hat after this. Or the chicken's butt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, wait. <laughs> I didn't read it like that. Guess what? Know what you meant. <laughs> okay. So you want me to go? Yeah. The Shaft, episode 54, recorded on October 16th, 2011. I'm Brent Copeland. I am Wes Wilson. And I'm Eric Fullerton. And we have a guest, an awesome guest. Who's today. that guest today, Eric? Awesome guest. Paul Soares, hey freaking Junior. Freaking Junior. Hey, thanks for having me. Freaking Paul. You can change freaking your name to put that freaking in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Paul freaking Soares Junior. Paul freaking Soares freaking Junior. I think we can just stretch it out even further. Freaking Paul freaking Soares freaking Junior freaking 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 freaking. <laughs> and and guess what? and so you haven't been on the show since uh, January 2011. Been, yeah, it's year? been a few months. Yep. It's been a freaking long time. Yeah, it has. It has been a freaking long time. And right now, I'm looking at you through Skype, Paul, and you have this awesome chicken on your head. I do. Can <laughs> you see the whole thing? It's a tall one. It's got a head. <laughs> it is a very large chicken. <laughs> oh, he's bent over. And you Stand have a chicken. Yeah, this like is a spy chickens? chicken. And if you watch any of my tutorials, then you know what the reference means. <laughs> but this is what happens to the chickens around these parts. Awesome. And I and was I uh, want me to do a dance, but I'm not going to do the dance. You missed the dance. We did we did that earlier. <laughs> we we can take time and do it again. No, yeah. um, uh, <laughs> actually, and uh, talking about your uh, let's plays and stuff, I was just watching one uh, last night. I think uh, you were you were showing your wife how to fish, or you were fishing on an island. You played a mean yeah. old joke on her, made her throw her fishing rod out to the water. That's some funny yeah, stuff. Yeah, I did. Huh? It was. Uh, <laughs> we're having a good time with that. It's man, woman, Minecraft. And she is not a gamer. She's never played a video game. This is the first one. So well, it's actually Survival Island, which is a custom map. Right. So it's kind of me teaching her how to play not only Minecraft, but, you know, video gaming. And, uh, yeah, so she, we actually had our anniversary about two weeks ago. So she surprised me with a fishing rod on, on the island that she crafted. One of my sons must have told her how to make it because she has no idea. <laughs> so she said, happy anniversary. She gave me a fishing rod. And so we had a little fishing derby. And uh, I said, all right, on three, let's go. And I told her how to cast the line. I said, just press Q. You put it in your hand and press Q. And obviously Q is throwing what's in your hand. So <laughs> she pressed Q and she tossed the fishing pole into the water. And she's like, that was awful. No, you go get that. <laughs> it's, it's, cute. So it's, it's a fun show, something that we try to record at least once a week. And it's something that we've never experience together um playing video games because she's never been a gamer so it's uh it's a little common ground that we've gotten you know to do um we've been married now i think it's been 18 years and like she's gonna kill me for not knowing <laughs> so, yeah it's uh it's, it's quite an interesting show awesome. well and speaking of that i uh i wanted to bring it up because uh, my wife doesn't play video games at all either like at all like bejewel blitz is the extent of it, you know, the in iPad, you know, iPhone games and, and Facebook stuff. 
I, for one of my birthdays, back when I played EverQuest, I got her to play one night. I said, that, that's all I want for my birthday is just you sit here and play EverQuest with me. Nice. And she did, and she has never, and she enjoyed it. She had fun, has never tried again. So how did you go about getting your wife to play Minecraft? <laughs> um, she kind of felt a little bit out of the loop because I play with my kids in a couple of different shows, Minecraft Dad. So she was curious. And she's it's if you've seen the show and you know Minecraft chick and how she learned the game on her own. Um, and if you thought she was bad, and I, I think I said this the last time I was on the show too, you would get an absolute kick out of watching my wife. But she's she's a good sport about it. Um, well, I like the chemistry y'all have too. She's it's... super competitive in, in the real world and in sports, and she's going to learn. So we're, you know, I just said, let's sit down and try it. And she's having a great time. I've said this a million times. My wife is an avid gamer. She plays games every single day, and she cannot comprehend how anybody likes Minecraft. <laughs> well, she's she's just baffled by it for some reason. I have no idea why. Yeah. And uh, we do have a question from the uh, chat room. Are you planning on doing any uh, adventure maps with your family? Not some Razor Blade X3. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, right now it's tough with school. Um, finding the time between sports and homework and all that but yeah we, we're still going to continue the minecraft dad i think we're up to episodes 50 or 60 or something like that so it's going to be they'll be coming out but a little slower than usual but yeah we'll do some that's very cool uh, yeah since the last time we talked to you you know you, you've been doing a lot of let's plays and stuff have have you is it really ramped up is is this a, a career yet or is it close to becoming one um it pretty much is now yeah i've been spending a lot of my time making the videos now and as a partner on YouTube I get to obviously share in revenue and I can't go into any detail right but, right but, um, but yeah I mean I have a business I still have a computer tech business and I still do that too so I'm doing both things I'm doing the computer tech business and I'm spending at least three or four hours a day working on videos so um, yeah it's it's nice if I could do this full-time making videos playing video games I would be pretty happy. It's like win-win, <laughs> right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, sit around seen, with a chicken on your head. Yet. <laughs> Until the chickens start laying eggs on your head, then maybe down. Uh, that could be a problem. Oh, that's this free is what eggs. Happens when chickens lay <laughs> eggs in my head. Yeah. Well, you want to uh, run through uh, some uh, sponsors who sponsored the show today? I think it's about that time. Now, right. now we put you in line here too, Paul. If you want to read some of these as yeah. well. Absolutely. Where are we? We are at the top <laughs> of the part that says sponsor. Oh, I see it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> and so Brent B is first, right? Yes, it is. So the fir first sponsor we have here is from Fab, who says the Emperor protects. Who's the Emperor? I thought it was well, that's some. From, that's from Dawn of War. It is. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, cool. Sure. well, cool. That's what I was going to say. Dawn of War. That is definitely from Dawn was, of War. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. I was about to make some joke about my sucky play at StarCraft and it'd be some kind of Protoss. Do they have Emperors and Protoss? I don't think so. No. Do they? I don't know. Anyway. Maybe, maybe Emperor Penguins. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, now it's, we're actually like making the sponsors like a, a segment of their own. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Well, they, they deserve it. <laughs> they deserve it for they supporting do. the show. Yes. And that next sponsor would be? It has a P. It does have a P. And you're staring at me. For Paul. No, I'm staring at Paul. Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, this is uh, TPC Tiger. TP's Tiger? I think so, yeah. And the message is, I'm behind on Shaft episodes. Must get caught up. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And this and next one's kind of a dual one because he, he sponsored the DWPP, but it came in after the DWPP. So we'll read them both. Uh, and he sponsored okay. the episode. All right, okay. And he, uh, his name is at Matt SKU5. And he says, enjoy the DWPP. And then and for his sponsorship for this episode, he says, I want a cape too. <laughs> That's right. We got capes. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kathy says, shut up and take my money. Also, poop blocks. <laughs> All right. Do we talk while people are giving us money? What? Do we? Huh? Do we do that? Of course. Sure. sure. It's part of the we job. We should stop doing that. We should shut up and let him give us money. Okay, yeah, we should. I think we're talking right now while they're trying to give us <laughs> money. So. Oh. All right, what's next? It has a P. It has a P. We have uh, Jeremy Autumn, <laughs> and it says, Super Hostile Legendary on 1.8 Complete. I hate you, Vex. 
and no, no. art. <laughs> and Spartan L4D who says, uh, two times three poop blocks equals poop slab. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> <laughs> poop slab. Are we gonna have poop steps now? Is, Is that a craftable item? Oh. Can I get poop steps? Yeah. Maybe poop, poop fences? Step. Two by three. Were, poop, I thought yeah. we were past poop blocks. We're, no. I thought we were, too. Uh, we, I wish we were. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they won, I mean, it won for the best excavation station thing for, you know. Did it? In the on, on our shafties, yeah. I mean, yeah. as early as our award show, they voted for it. Okay, yeah. so the next one is from... Oh, wait. No, it is my turn. Okay, uh, that's a W. Uh, it's from Crommy, and he says, Toasted Jelly is an evil mastermind. Darn you, TJ! <laughs> and Rodri says, Paul Soares Jr. Oh, yeah. You want me to read that one? Yeah. Since that's no, me. You read that one. Paul Soares freaking Jr., a man and father we aspire to be. By the way, Wilson. Nice. <laughs> it's the name of my my pet dog in Man vs. Minecraft. Oh, I thought they were. Hello, Wilson. I thought they were thinking I was a man and a father too. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> I thought it was gonna no, be a volleyball. Volleyball. Yeah, that's right. a good one too. That's yeah. true. <laughs> well, let's jump right into this thing and do this here. Our journey. Our journeys. And this section is sponsored by LethalDrive.com, of course. If you need a server, go to LethalDrive.com slash the shaft. Put in the coupon, the shaft, and you'll get uh, 25% off. Of your first billing cycle. Mm -hmm. Right. And speaking of servers, I I started two this week, actually. Um, I wanted to make one. We we had this discussion with, with Aleph Noel in at the DWPP about getting a server set up for Let's Players to join in on oh. and have it open to Let's Players to film on. Right. And it wouldn't, you know, it, it wouldn't have to be super beefy, but, it, you know, beefy enough where you could get some people on filming. But then you'd kind of cross paths. Like, you'd be on there filming something. That's a great idea. And then other Maybe. Let's Players would be filming something. All of a sudden, you might see each other and, you know. That's awesome. Yeah, it's like a, like a comic book crossover or something. <clears throat> yeah. You'd all, you spawn know, in, you'd all spawn in the same place, though, right? Yeah, unless you put in some Sometimes, mod. Sometimes, yeah. 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 You get a mod or something. Yeah, I think Ko and NVIDIA and, um, and and that crew did something like that a while ago. Oh. I don't know if they're still doing it or not. But, yeah, it was an interesting concept where you just be recording on the server, and then you may just encounter someone else recording, and, you, you know, you could take it from there. Well, I think it would be I cool just, still to do that. just to see other people's stuff. Like, you know, so you're yeah. wandering along and then, you know, somebody, you know, built something and you're like, oh, that that's cool. Let's look yeah. at that, you know? Unless it's like spoilery or something, you know? Yeah. It's like, oh man, you showed my creation on your Let's Play before I got a chance to. <laughs> yeah. You know? well, you have to sign a waiver before you get on. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it gets all lawyery. Maybe you got maybe you got to wait twenty four hours before you do a let's play before you can post it on YouTube. Oh yeah. See now there's too many rules. Too many rules. Too many rules. Done. I'm taking the server down when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another one that uh, I was gonna try to set up to try to get get to because my son's been playing and my daughter's actually been playing and I want to try to get my wife to play like you got your wife. That's why I was asking, but uh, yeah. I don't think it's gonna happen. Like I, I, I hey, I'll I, she supports me. You'll be me. my wife, huh? You'll be my wife. No, just put her on the payroll. I, I, <laughs> I think I may have left that detail out. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to earn your way, sir. Maybe we can. Yeah, you can be my wife, Wes. Uh, sure, I'll do it. I'll call you something else, though. Yeah, I'll talk looks like good. this. Wes looks good in an apron. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but besides that, I haven't really. I've actually been decompressing from the DWPP. Just like I quit smoking. It was the last con that I was going to smoke at. So I haven't smoked since then. Yay! And no, it's not yay. It's I want to kill people. <laughs> and so I, I didn't think it would be a good time for me to do like SMP because, you know, I just ban yeah. people and we're still dealing with, you know, getting our servers and stuff moved mm -hmm. over. Uh, so yeah, just, just staying away from people is really what I've been doing this past week. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I, I've had an interesting week. My uh, wife has been diagnosed with vertigo, so now I have to drive my whole family anywhere they go. She's and got the movie? Yes, the movie in her, in her ear. Weird. And it's, it's viral, so like it, antibiotics won't fix it. She's just going to wait for it to get done. 
Uh, but anyway, do you mess with her and like, Whoa. no, because like no, periodically she, she like she'll just be walking around the house and then she'll like lean against the wall. And be like, oh, my gosh, oh, I feel so bad for her. See, I wonder why my wife won't play games with me. I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> like I'm like, I'd put like a Vex map on and be like, no, this is the game. When you can't play as easy. Your son plays it. No, I wouldn't really do it. Anyway, go on. So I, I actually haven't been playing any Minecraft this week. And I and I in place of it, I watched a bunch of Let's Plays like I'm I'm fascinated with all the 1.9.4 stuff yeah. but like I I'm not going I'm still in my single player world I'm still digging holes and making tools you know uh, yeah. like I'm nowhere near you know like finding cool things and I don't want to do the whole spawn your own stuff thing so like I've been watching like Paul's videos and you know other people's you know let's plays in, in place of actually playing yeah um, yeah Jumbo Muffin 27 is my son is he here he might be upstairs on a computer. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to kick my wife and, and son. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I, uh, I, I checked out uh, 1.9 pre-4, and uh, I found a stronghold by uh, crafting an Eye of Ender, which is like the, the, the Ender Eye thing, and then the, was it a, Ender a Pearl bla Blaze Powder? And blaze yeah, it's right. a real put process. Put them yep. together, and you have to make a ton because it takes forever. You know, and I'm in creative mode when I'm doing this, and uh, so I'm floating around, throwing my eye out, following it, and then, and then uh, finally, when it starts pointing down and going down, that's when you go down. And um, being in creative mode, it's very easy to just to drill through the earth and find the stronghold. So I go down there and, and mess around and, and just find uh, cool structures and stuff. Um, uh, also, uh, spawn some dragons. Got to check out the dragons. Totally awesome. Do the gold sword thing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you right-click the gold sword to spawn a dragon, and then you uh, can... Oh, there's a mod to ride the dragons, too. That's kind of cool. Uh, and then also, uh, right-clicking a diamond, um, will, uh, or diamond sword, will will take you to the end, uh, or the uh, the ender uh, realm. This is the end. That's what I'm thinking too. This is the end. It's pretty weird. It's it's unfinished and everything. So, but it's just it's there's so many Endermen all just. I know they're all over the place. I can't. Sparse. I mean, yeah. what would you do there? You'd have to like walk around with your face down, right? Well, yeah, they pretty much. Yeah, they don't, they don't attack in a group though. It's not like zombie pigmen. So you could kill one at a time. At least yeah. that's in my testing. Yeah. And there's no way out. Once you get to the end, it literally is the end. Yeah. <laughs> so it's yeah. only one way out, and that's to jump off a pillar or something. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and the sky is weird, too. It looks Have, it looks all buggy. Has anybody something. tried to, yeah. like, build a spawn to the to the nether from the end? No. That's interesting. Though. I mean, if you took all the ingredients with you, could you build a portal to the nether? Hmm. I don't know. Sounds like the next video I'm going to do. I don't think you can. What happens to beds the in the room? end? You don't think you can do it? Is it my no, taking a bed work. there? The chat room's saying no. Yeah. But no. then again, the chat room, you know, says I'm funny, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. What is yeah. yeah. There's yeah. 1,100 people in there. Maybe somebody knows what they're talking about, I think. <laughs> so beds blow up in the end, too? Beds blow up, and no, portals don't work. I've tried making mm. one, and it, doesn't, it didn't work. Oh. Mm. But I, I, I don't know if I was in creative or survival. I, I can't recall. Um, That'd be pretty cool if portals exploded in the, the end, too. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> That's right. It Brent's not end. amused. I, I thought it was kind of funny. No, I'm laughing on the inside. It's just <laughs> no smoking thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what about you, Paul? What have you been up to? Uh, pretty much the same thing. Um, I've been doing a lot of PR releases, pre-release uh, videos. Mm -hmm. Doing with the end and enchantments. Enchantments. And uh, potions. Man, woman, Minecraft again. Oh, oh, and man versus Minecraft. Yes. Excuse me, which is the season two finale. It's a 14-day um, season, and we're on the last day right now. And I just have to make it kind of, you know, special. So I've been working on that. And Skyblock, Skyblock uh, 1.1, which is a custom map. Hardcore. All the cool kids are doing it, so I'm doing it too. Hardcore. Yeah. Yes, it, this is the hardcore, so you only have one life. You fall off this. It's basically a big dirt, floating um, dirt block in the sky with a tree, and there's a, a chest with a few items in there for survival. And you have to make your way. And you have, There's a whole bunch of challenges, like make a monster trap and an animal farm and a tree farm and so forth. And you don't have a whole lot to, to work with. And in Hardcore Pro, you only have one life, so if you fall off, you're dead, and that's it. And the world gets deleted in hardcore. 
So oh, I think yeah. I'm on episode seven or eight or something on that. Wow. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, I can't wait to see your uh, season finale of uh, Man vs. Minecraft season two. Season one finale was awesome. <laughs> it's totally awesome. Yeah, thanks. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm trying to uh, going to try to make it as at least as exciting as the first finale. And cliffhangery, season right? One. Are you yeah, doing a third one? Yeah, it's cliffhangery. Yeah, yeah, right. And then I'm going to lead right into season three. Sweet. And I have some ideas, but I haven't really solidified it. That's cool. Yet. You know, I think last time we talked. You were announcing that you were starting a new series called Man vs. Minecraft. You hadn't even done it yet. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So. Yep. And now he's done two seasons. Season three coming up. Dang. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. That's a lot of seasons. It's been that a long time. There I don't know why the redneck accent's coming up. <laughs> there he is. Uh, so, and uh, you got a bunch of big plans coming up. Heading to uh, Minecon, of course. Yep. Yep. Got the whole family going. Awesome. And uh, we've got our tickets, and we've got our hotel rooms, and we're going to be there a couple of days early just to chill. We're going to—it's kind of a vacation for us as well. And then, uh, and then we'll be visiting the the convention. Have you planned a uh, a meetup spot or anything yet? For no, not yet. But um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Cool. I know you guys are going to get there a little early, and we can, uh, you know, get together and Inspire. kill some spy chickens or something. That's right. Collaborate, slaughter, and, and sacrifice listen. them. Are you doing anything uh, official there? Any panels, talks, or anything like that? I've been approached um, unofficially, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do it yet. I may just want to go as a fan and, and kind of keep a low profile. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah I know. But <laughs> I, can, I think I can kind of <laughs> hide in the crowds. <laughs> You'll have to pull that chicken hat down a little bit further. Yeah, yeah. I have to wear the chicken hat or any other identification oh. marks. But, uh, mm-hmm. You know, I'll be there with the family, so we're just a little concerned with, you know, yeah. crazy stock of people. But M- My we'll wife has decided not to go. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, she was going? Well, she was going to go and treat it like a vacation, you know, and, like, right. hang out by the pool while the actual convention was going on. But now that we've got more plans and stuff, and also a birthday party got planned that weekend, and it just, you know, what there, there becomes a terminal mass, a terminal velocity of, oh, well, I can't escape these things that are going on. So we're going to do – she's going to plan on something else where we we have time, a lot of time to ourselves. Oh, man, that would have been fun to mess with the Vertigo girl on the plane and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <geez. Yep. laughs> Uh, no. Evil. All right, so uh, let's get into some news. From the Minecraft Daily, news and updates. Tons of news every week. Tons, tons of, news. of news. Never a shortage of news ever, ever. And this week is no different. This week we saw the uh, beta 1.9 pre for some blah <laughs> release thingy. That's right. <laughs> Uh, They're really on a roll with that, right? Beta I mean, of a beta. I mean, yep. it's yeah, it's just like, well, it doesn't matter what it's technically called, does it? Just give it to us. We'll yeah. play it. No. But but I think the only thing really is that you can't update through the client. You have to go and be a little more technical about it. And I think that that's maybe not a great idea. I think it's perfect. I you do, too. Because see, so. what would happen if they just made it easy, then everybody would upgrade, and then you'd have all these people bitching. Right. Yeah. Because something wasn't... You know, this is basically testing. This is their yeah. way of doing yeah. beta beta testing before because so, yeah. they've done it so differently the whole time that even though it's technically a beta, it's really not. They, People treat know, it the like a finished product. Yeah, they treat it like a finished product and they want it to run like a finished product. Yeah, so right. they've got this beta beta because they need it in this new format of how to develop an indie game. Right. So I think they've got you know I don't know I think they need the barrier to entry to the test stuff there. I guess so. Yeah, That's, this is valid. But what's in this new test stuff, Mr. Fullerton? Well, of course, we've got a new realm here called the End. We already talked about that. It has, it's the o- home of the Endermen and the Ender Dragons. Uh, you can, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, at the moment, the only legitimate way you can leave the dimension is by dying. And I did die there, and I did uh, pop up in the, the regular, the outside world. Um, and, y- and you get there through the, uh, the portals in the Stronghold? Yes. Right? Now, so what else is in the stronghold? I haven't been to one yet. Don't know. Uh, I've seen it. Chests and. Is and the Nether stronghold? Uh, no, no. Uh, it's just the regular stronghold. You know, oh, okay, when you yep. use the the eye of uh, of uh, Ender, is that what it's called? There's chest in there, just to open. No, yeah. There's chest. Do they all have the the end gate? Because I've run into a few that didn't seem to have any. I could there's, not find there's the libraries gate. with bookshelves. Mm-hmm. 
There's jails, jail cells. And there's jail cells. Yep. And those are Iron cool. Bars. Are there people in it yet? No. Okay, so this no. was kind of like the villages before the village yeah, people got yeah, there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Are there going to be people in the strongholds, or are these abandoned? Mm. Well, there's plenty of monsters, but I don't know about people. Yeah. Oh, there are monsters in there. You got your. I yeah, mean, I mean no more. Spawn. Yeah, no more than your regular. Oh, okay. There's not like any special, un unlike the uh, the Nether. Stronghold, you know, we have the Blaze guy, the fiery dudes, and uh, I forget the name. Uh, you know, and all the special new ones, right? Um, the fire blobs. Well, yeah, I'm just going to make up names for them. I, I think what's going to be interesting is once a full PvP map gets done, like what happens when Chaos has strongholds, you know, and people <clears throat> people craft some stuff to go find. I bet those oh, yeah. are going to be areas of high combat. Oh, yeah. That's true. And, and uh, these strongholds are very rare, too. So it may be that everybody on a multiplayer server will just find one. Yeah. Yeah. And wasn't yeah, there a only limit? Three per map. No. I wonder if that also applies to multiplayer. Right. I would think so, since it's really the same map generation. Yeah. There's going to be some contention there. So it's you know first one oh. to find it, it's yours, and you defend it mm -hmm. all your life. At least while you're on, <laughs> and then when you log off, whoever finds yeah. it next defends <laughs> it. Yeah. Squatter, squatters' rights. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, also, we got some enchantments. Enchanting. Uh, you can put down an enchanting table. And the table's cool. <laughs> yeah. Except yeah, it doesn't look cool. blocky. The little book opens like it, it makes and it me... flips the pages. I know. Cool. I'm like, well, that's not right. Well, they changed the sun and the moon from blocks now to round. That's right, yeah. So what's next? Our head? So what did everybody vote for? What I didn't you vote? Voted, I voted square, old school. You voted square. I would what? vote square if I had voted. Square? What about you, Brent? I voted round, but I still looked at it like it's round, but it's still like square pixels. Like, you can still see that yeah, shape. And exactly. So to me, the it phase, was still kind of... You know, of the phases are nice. I do like that. Yeah, Is it like a, like a Minecraft universe planet? Like, made of blocks but and, and gravity one direction, but still... Yeah, I mean, it's so, so small, far away. Yeah. yeah, okay, yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I voted round... I liked the round. Yeah, well, and he also did the vote online, but did he did he follow what the vote ended up being? Yes, and it was so it close. It was pretty close, yeah. It was yeah. about 50-50. In the end, it, it, it might have just been whatever he decided, <laughs> you know? I th <laughs> <laughs> well, he spent all the time making it round <laughs> with different phases, I think. it's uh, Well, it's his game. So. I mean, it kind of tells you that everybody, it doesn't really matter. Nobody's really passionate either way. Right? Yeah. Right. Or half of them are passionate one way or yes. half of them. <laughs> Passionate the other and we will and all I don't understand why we have to live in such a partisan sun and moon world. <laughs> 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 and then we'll all meet at Minecon. All the, the square haters and the round haters all yeah. together and battle it out. Yeah. It'll be the, the star bellies and the non-star bellies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, what, what, what would they have done if the cloak with the uh, square moon on it had won? Would they have redone that cloak? Oh, wow. Oh, oh I see. That's yeah. Interesting. Oh. Or maybe that was his decision. Well, I guess they don't care about the square moon. <laughs> See what happens when I make it all round on them. That's right. <laughs> Interesting. So I think everybody who likes the round cloak uh, moon should make their own cloak with the round moon and show up to Minecon with their cloak on. Yeah, Rebel. You making a cloak? You going to wear a cloak rebel, to rebel. Minecon? Yeah. Yeah, did you guys get your cloaks? Yes, sure and did. Are, these, are they permanent? They are. Because it's going to look a little weird in Man vs. Minecraft, my finale, when I'm running around in a creeper cloak. That's <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool, like, you know, when you're, when you're going forward, it, it flaps up. So if you're watching your, your uh, third-person view, you don't see it. You see the back of your shirt just fine, but when you stop moving it, boom, you know, flattens out on, the, on your back. But, yeah. uh, but it's definitely there, and you can't remove it, so maybe there will just be an option, right, think, to hide yeah. it or something. Do you think there will be an option? I think there will, yeah. I think there needs to be. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, there also I love it. Though. Probably love needs it. to be a way to switch your capes. I mean, I bet the Mojang people were like, "Well, I, I want to wear my Minecon coat cloak today." You know, yeah. I want to wear my Mojang cape That's today. True. Yeah, I don't know. When are we getting our shaft cloaks? I don't know. But the pickaxe—that's <laughs> going to be the shaft cloak, right? Yeah, right. With the pickaxe. I thought it'd just say the shaft, have our logo on the back of it. <clears throat> but you only have like 16 pixels to yeah. choose from. They'll put more pixels on for us. <laughs> <laughs> nice HD cape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Where are we going? Anti-aliasing on the 
on that's the right. shaft cake. <laughs> <laughs> Photorealistic. Uh, so we have some enchantments. A ton. Of, I mean, that's that's a whole thing to itself. Uh, maybe it'd be wise to get into that once it's released in full, and you know, all that stuff. Yeah, you, it's working pretty well. Have you have you done any enchanting? And I did. I kind of I kind of messed around. I, I downloaded a map that included all of the things, all of the ingredients, and everything you need to to do enchanting because i was like yeah i'm gonna you know it's totally cheating right or <laughs> testing i'm testing no yeah. it's cheating yeah so i downloaded this map yeah. and played around with it and um they should be using scripts yeah and it's i mean yeah. rocket I, jump I, I think it's pretty cool i think it it's is cool, cool. I mean, yeah some of the effects are pretty cool like knockback yeah and there's one that sets mobs on fire and then there's one smite i think it does extra damage against undead it's so a it's sword it's, it's kind of the lights people things. on fire what yeah, don't you get? yeah, and then there's uh, like a water breathing, um, oh, or right. at least it, it slows down your drowning. You know, so you get your bubbles last a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Nice. And yeah, what is up with cool uh, blind blindness? That's a weird one. On an enchantment? Yeah. Or is that a what, potion? What, was that a was that a, a uh, potion, oh uh, you know think, right? maybe that was a potion. Well, potions you can now use them as uh, like bombs. Right. Thro throwable AOE. Throw yeah. Right. So that would work probably in a PvP situation. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't want to yeah, blind weak, yourself. Weakness. No, you don't want to blind yourself. That doesn't seem to make any sense. Yeah. It's a cool effect, though. Well, it depends. It's... Maybe you you have a mirror and you're really ugly. <laughs> yeah. You just walk around blinding yourself yeah. instead of fixing your avatar, <laughs> your skin. But, uh, yeah, so I guess you could uh, blind people Yeah. on PvP. Yeah. Are you going to blind people, Eric? I, I would, yes. You're you're a blind person. Like I like the blinder. other way too, the the flash, you know, like a flash grenade and and first person shooters and stuff. Yeah. Those are always fun too, but this is kind of a weird you can only see a few feet in front of your face and everything else is black. Kind of a blindness. Yeah. Which is yeah. cool. You can still walk around and stuff, but you'll hit, you'll bump into a tree because you didn't even see it coming, you know. So it'd be more of an ex an escape potion than uh to like try to kill someone. Yeah. Yeah. Pro yeah. Or at least get out of their eyesight so you can just pelt them with arrows. Yeah. Oh, hey. Get on a mountain, throw lava on them. And they won't see you. That's true. Walk yeah. right into I know in trap. PvP, I would do that a lot. I would have a lot of blindness potions if I could in PvP. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. I've always wanted, like, a Molotov cocktail in single player. And it would be great in PvP, too. But there's always, like, that one when you're walking through a dungeon or something and there's just a crap load of mobs. And you can pick them off one at a time, but it's just so inefficient. So yeah. you just want a Molotov cocktail. Something you just toss in there and burn them up. Yeah. And the lava works pretty well, but... Ooh, what if you made a potion that was like, style. like the sun for like you know ten seconds? So you threw in it, splashes and lights up. So anything that burns, burns, and you can see the creepers and run in and stab you. <laughs> nice, <laughs> I like it. Like that. nice. Wrong section though. Yeah. It's okay. We we uh you know we move around. We, we do. We're jump ducking. around. We're movers. Duck and something. <laughs> Are you the Daddy Mac or the Mac Daddy? I am the Daddy Mac. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else. Ooh, um, look at you. <laughs> Old people jokes are fun. They are. <laughs> okay, so we've kind of gone over the rest of this. Uh, Minecraft uh, also gets two awards at the Game Developers, the GDC yeah. online uh, in Austin. Yep, Minecraft Chick was there to uh, uh, receive the the awards. And uh, apparently uh, she had to empty her carry-on baggage um, because they thought they were explosives. And they had to swab them down and clean them and stuff. It's so nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it won best live game. So they're considering Minecraft to yeah. be live. Yeah, best live. live game and best community relations. Huh. Interesting. Isn't that on? Don't you think that's on? That it's a it's, beta. It's a beta. That it's a beta, and they call it live. Hmm. Maybe maybe they said mm. maybe it's live. Maybe it makes no best no live sense game. at all. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Maybe that's an acronym. Oh, B L G L I V E best. So, no. <laughs> yes, maybe live it's live meaning multiplayer. Uh, maybe? I, I don't know. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I just think yeah, it's I'm going to go with it. It's just that it's out. That yeah. like, people are playing it. Okay. People like, are buying it. Yeah. yeah. I think people it are saying you can call it beta, <laughs> but it, we're going to give you an award that says it's live. <laughs> we know wink, better. Wink, <laughs> <Right? Yeah. laughs> wink. Wink, wink. Okay. Ah. <laughs> um, but okay, uh, let's see. Also, let's see. Carl uh, tweeted on Friday that he had worked. Uh, no, oh, that MyCon's almost out of tickets. That's right. right They're that's selling the out soon. Yeah. So you need so to get those tickets. So what's total? Do you know? Is like five thousand tickets or four thousand? 
I, I don't heard, know. I haven't heard a number. I thought I it was 4,000 at, mm. at first. That's, that's a pretty a good lot. number. That's not. Yeah. I mean, it's not, you know, that's not huge, but it'll be plenty big. Yeah. So if you haven't gotten your ticket, do it now. Hurry wow. up. And if you ha- if if you can't get the ticket, you know, you can always get a, uh, what is it, Curses giving away a ticket, I believe. Two uh, tickets. Contest. Yeah. I think you get you got to be a, a premium. Yeah, and I think uh, yeah. Minecraft Forums was doing a ticket thing, too, a whole package deal. Well, they're cursed, yeah. so. Oh, that is. Oh, you're yeah, right. Yeah, that is <laughs> curses. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Now, we have some leftover premium passes. We should give those out. Yes. Paul, you got a reason to give something out? Do you want to give one out on something? or? Um. Yeah, I could do something on a video. Uh, um. That way, I mean, it needs to be fairly soon. I guess they have a chance to like get a mic like on. Now? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Actually, we could do it that way. I'll just give. Do, give do we want to do into the show or something? Do we want to do a competition? You want to do a competition? All right. Well, we have a few, so I, I, was, like, yeah. I don't have anything in mind, but yeah, we'll give you one that you can give away on your show. Okay. On any show that you want to give it away yeah. on over this week. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we Sweet. can do that. I'll uh, I'll make a video this week and I'll post it up and we'll give you guys a shout out. Obviously. Sweet. Yeah. Cool, and all we yeah, ask is that you that. do uh, you do a little chicken dance. And yep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that well, live. You can be sure I'll slaughter chickens. I don't know if I'll dance. <laughs> Jumbo. There's Jumbo. What all up, right. Jumbo? So, so it is the real Jumbo. Here he is. Is, that, uh, is that football or soccer? This is, my, this is my oldest son, Jumbo. Hello there. Yeah, How's is it, it going? Is that, uh, I think Minecraft the mom in the chat room is a fake, but the Jumbo is real. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so what is this jersey that you're wearing? Adrian Peterson. Uh, it's Minnesota Vikings yeah. running back. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Is that good or bad? I'm not into sports. So yeah. I don't know. It sounds very neutral to me. I get it, when people talk yeah, it sports. On I where get you're that. from. If you're from Minnesota, it's probably a good thing. Uh, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> when people talk sports, I get that peanuts voice. <laughs> 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 That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick to Minecraft. Yeah, Adrian Peterson plays Minecraft. <laughs> ah, <nice. laughs> and uh, also someone else who plays minecraft is uh Kristen shaw from the uh, daily show and the flight of the concords and they, she's uh teamed up with uh, sony erickson for a facebook-based contest uh build for Kristen. so uh, we'll link to that oh uh, yeah the build for Kristen videos are funny those are cool she's funny yeah yeah I she like was her. awesome in flight of the concords yeah she's cool uh well cool all right so that's a lot of news there. Any news we forgot? We'll think of it next week. All right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so this is going to be the listener contributions, but this time Paul Soros Jr. is going to hook us up with the uh, with the bumper, and he's going to do it live. And he has no idea until just <laughs> now, and I just said it. <laughs> oh, God. What does this mean? <laughs> uh, in some I way, think. let everyone know that it's the listener contributions. Because that hasn't been done yet. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, go. It's listener contribution. Da da. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. <laughs> Spirit fingers. Uh, awesome. And Paul, I would like to just apologize for that happening live on the air. <laughs> with, uh, I'm not sure what Eric's doing over here. He's a. <laughs> no, I like I like a little spontaneity. Yay. <laughs> All right, so we have. Um, we have a couple of things here and uh, some calls, and here is the first one. Hey, Shaft uh, This is Death Rock calling in, and I have something for listener contribution. Um, I've been playing Minecraft again. Um, now that 1.8 has been out, and I just, uh, my contribution is uh, out to Notch and everyone at Mojang. They really knocked it out of the park with this one. I just got off the phone talking to my friend, who I just convinced him verbally that he needs to start playing again, just with all the new awesome stuff. And also, those cave spiders are awful. So, um, yeah, just uh, super awesome, and I can't wait for the full release. I think I need you to make an audio track of how you convinced your friend to play the game so I can play it for my wife. Oh, yeah. or maybe let's like, what if we could get everybody to send in? Like, what would they do if they were trying to get someone to, you know, convince them to play Minecraft oh, and then make yeah. this audio montage of like why you should play Minecraft, basically. Let's Either see. that or we have we have once a week. We have a winner each week. 
Oh yeah, the, the best, the, the best thing that talks people into playing best way Minecraft. To convincing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, send gun in your point. MP3s. I yeah. find gunpoint works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Duct tape is really good. Don't let them get out of the chair. <laughs> Uh, we have another one here from James who says, Hey guys, people keep saying that Notch is adding too much, especially in the 1.9 pre-releases with alchemy and en enchanting. But before these updates, people said that there were was too little. So I want your opinion. Is Notch adding too much to the game? I think it just feels that way because we got used to the yeah. game in one particular way. <laughs> hmm. You know, we got kind of used to vanilla Minecraft with a few extras. And now all of a sudden we've got all this stuff. But I also think it kind of builds on each other. I mean, like, you've, you've got these tools that you, you know, first you've got to go to the nether and acquire things, you know, and then you have to go here and acquire. And yeah. it just seems like, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it seems like these are all things that in the past you said was going to be in the game. It's just after a while, I guess people kind of assume that, well, maybe they aren't going to be in the game because it's going to take it so long or it's going to be an expansion. Yeah. But No. No, they they got him in the game. Yeah. Did you see what he yeah. tweeted today? Huh. He's looking for a writer to write yeah. a script for the end of the game. Like if you oh, beat yeah. Minecraft. Oh, so yeah. he's actually got somewhere you're trying to go. Maybe the end is the end. You're not supposed to get out. Maybe that's the victory oh. condition. Oh, that is called the end. It's not much of a victory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He'll put something Look fun at in all there. these Endermen. Yeah. Maybe maybe you come across a mirror and you see you've been an Enderman the whole time. Oh, a little Twilight Zone. Just episode. don't hit F five <laughs> beforehand. Yeah. How to serve man? And then Glados starts singing to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a triumph. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think, Paul? What do you think about all this crazy added stuff? Is it too much? Um, I think so. I, I like the sandbox, the open world of Minecraft, and and. I think a lot of the things that are being added now could probably just be modded in by a fans. Mm. Um, I mean, I think it's, I mean, you don't have to do it if you don't want it. You, know, you don't have to make potions. It's not like you need to do that. Mm -hmm. So I don't have a problem with it, but it's not something I'm probably going to do a lot of. Right. Yeah, I like my RPGs. In, I like, like a Skyrim. If I'm going to play an RPG, it's going to be a full RPG. Um, you know, Minecraft is more of just a sandbox experience, I think. But uh, I don't want to say too much, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm really wondering when mod support's going to be put in. Like, I, I, I thought it would yeah. be in uh, in beta, but it's looking like it's going to be in the uh, full release. So. Yeah, I'd rather see some kind of an API where it, it, it's easier to add things like that. So if you wanted to make your own types of potions, you could do that. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, because it's, right now it's not an easy thing to do to add a mod without, you know, some knowledge of editing files and you know, getting into the jar files. Yeah. Um, it's very hacky feeling. Yeah, it's a little hacky. <laughs> it's, it's very hacky. But I guess, you know, mod support for a game that's literally in beta is, is kind of, it's just another weird thing. Like, why would you have mod support in a game that's not even out? So... But you know, yeah, I don't they, think it's a priority. But I don't think I don't think they're really worried about that. You know, putting out pre-releases for a beta and all this stuff, and you know, but yeah. I, I'm enjoying the diversity and the and the amount of changes because it keeps it fresh and fun. It, it, it like overnight he can change the game entirely. Bam! It's it's a a different game now. You know. Well, and and there's always the chance that later on he may put in a options page that says, "Do you want to play with?" potions do you want to play with dragons do you want to play with creepers right. do you want to play with all these things that they've built in but they've got to kind of get these things in first and then you can pick how you want to play the game mm -hmm. and uh once they get the api and then it's like do you want to play with you know wagon wheels and you know other things <laughs> Poop slanted Poop roofs. roofs yeah <laughs> uh and i think that'd be a great way to go because then you can formulate your game uh it may be even on the server level do the same thing you know because those options will be in there and i'll be it harder to pick and choose probably but yeah uh, right you can play it as a sandbox mode or an rpg mode and that adds these elements um in the game so if you don't want potions and enchantments then just play sandbox which mm -hmm. is more creative right yeah but um yeah i mean i i think it it definitely mixes things up a little bit makes it interesting i i do but think i prefer to see more content like mm -hmm. you know in the strongholds and npc villages and that type of thing yeah, I'd like to see. I I do think that having some 
um, predefined cool you know exploration elements would be better than adding new powers and features and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. you, you know, I think having some some adventure elements to okay, I found a stronghold. Now this is going to be populated with you know x number of monsters, and if I get to the end, I get something special. You know, I mean right. that that might be a little more. You know, but but like I said, I also think there's something good about the fact that, I mean, you have to go to, you know, the nether to get to the end, you know, like there's this pattern of progression on what you can do and, and how you can do it. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. Yeah. OK. Well, then let's get into do we want a big segment? You want to you want to do something crazy now? I'm uh, I'm down for something crazy. Crazy. Oh, you wanted to talk about Audible. I yeah, our audiblepodcast.com slash the shaft. Did we want to talk about that? Or is that like a static bumper at the beginning of the show now? Let's do it. That's uh, Audible trial. I thought we were doing audiblepodcast.com. No, so you need to listen better. <laughs> you want me to introduce <laughs> this like the last one? I don't know where this is going. What's going on here? <laughs> this is getting all crazy. It is getting crazy. No, I this think... Is, this uh, is why I have a document. That's yeah, right. It's, it's uh, and this is actually not in there, but uh, we do have an offer from Audible that uh, is uh, everybody can try out. It's audibletrial.com slash the shaft, and they will give you a credit f- towards a free book and a free membership for two weeks. Uh, you can continue your membership. I believe it's fourteen ninety five a month. Mm-hmm. After that, and you'll get a credit every month if you continue to get uh, more books and more free stuff. It's Good stuff. So go get you your free book and listen to it while you play some Minecraft. Because, uh, you know, we only have about 50 hours of this show, so I'm sure, you know, you got to listen to something else after that. Right. Go get uh, Ender's Game. Is it Ender's Game? Right? Ender's sure. Game is good. Yeah. yeah that's a good yeah. one. Is, it, is there a connection with the Ender Dragon yes. and Ender? Yes. yes. And all the Ender yes. World? Yes. There because is? all yes. the Ender Dragons in Minecraft went to battle school at the in space. Yeah. Oh, I know nothing about Ender's Game, so I really don't know what's going on. <laughs> you go listen to it. See. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, but that uh, brings us to uh, another section. Let's do it. Excavation Station. I heard a chicken. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> All right, we have uh, a bunch of them in here. One is from Future Guy 51. Well, we have a note here first we should get to that uh, Astragali wants us to let everybody know that if you send anything in about stained glass or pipes, <laughs> it's going to get deleted automatically. <laughs> it pretty much was in the past. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we got that one. Yeah. Heard loud and clear. <laughs> and uh, we talked to Notch about it. He said, mm, maybe. We'll see. Show your face. Yeah. So, <laughs> All right. No more of that. But you got something from Future Guy. Future Guy. So 51. he's got some uh, inside knowledge from the future. Yeah, he says he wants uh, gold ore in rivers. He says, I think that gold ore should have a chance to generate in rivers. This would make sense since in real life, gold is often found in rivers. P.S. I just wanted to say I love the show and I listen to your random ramblings all the t- <laughs> on all things Minecraft. I would like to point out that the, that the word often is not legitimate. Um, if I were to go to any given river and begin looking for gold... <laughs> <laughs> the odds of me finding gold would be extremely <laughs> slim. <laughs> so depends on what year and where. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so so while I might agree that it, theoretically it could be the case, uh, I'm not sure that it's a um, legitimate. Well, maybe he's yeah. saying that often when you find gold, it's in rivers. Yeah. Okay. Compared to anywhere else, like you don't walk down the road and find gold unless it's gold chain, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah. maybe he's just had really good luck and he's like. Dude, whenever I go to the river, I find gold. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> like, y'all should be going to rivers because yeah. that's where the gold is. Well, I have I have found as much gold in rivers as I have when I have dug 20 meters under the ground straight down and searched caves that I have exposed with my pickaxe. <laughs> okay. So none. Yes. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> but if you had found some in the river, you could then say, often I find gold in the river and not in the mountains with my pick. Again, I don't like often. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, oh well. Oh. So this, uh, this so ep- that gets the buzzer. Does it get the buzzer? Oh, uh, yes. Well, so you still don't like golden rivers? Like maybe you get a 
a what are you a okay. pan? Now this is what and I you think. You gotta actually like that. That's, didn't say didn't like Golden Rivers. That's different. That that's what <laughs> that's something else. Maybe you can get. Um, maybe it's possible for you to build a like a a sheet a pan a penny oh, yeah. for gold pan. That's right. Okay, yeah. and uh, if you use it in a river, it like fishing, it has a chance to generate some gold. And I think those odds should be about the odds that if I went to the river behind the the studio and put a pan in, me getting gold. I think those odds are good odds. Like maybe in a van down by the <laughs> river. Point zero 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 one. Yes. <laughs> but every once in a while you will get a gold block from a river. Yeah. A one, one meter cube <laughs> of gold. Off just jumping in a cave and digging. <laughs> <laughs> One meter That's cube. what you're trying to say. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to see a fishing pole pull up something worthwhile occasionally. Yeah. 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 You, know, you get that in some in old uh, maybe, road games and muds where you fish in a little pond and you pull out like a diamond every now and then. Maybe every once in a while you should get some steel boots. Steel boots. Yep. Or leather boots. Nice. Yeah, that's boot right. With somebody attached to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you could fish up a creepy, creepy creeper. Yeah. He's the number one griefer. Maybe. A dead one. A dead corpse of a creeper. <laughs> and then you cut it open and you find fish. Uh, License plates. Gross. We're going some direction. and I, I, It started to sound Billy. good, but find oh, Billy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. I was going to mention. a Jaws reference? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wasn't Billy eaten by Jaws? I think so. Uh, oh, don't go in the water. <laughs> so this next one we got was submitted by Imperialistic and Jeff's Artisan. And they want werewolves. And there's a mod. There's a werewolf mod, isn't there? Right. Yeah, they're yeah. mo creatures. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, when the new moon phases, how about some of the NPC villagers turn into werewolves every full moon, every eight in-game days? That's right. There's moon phases. That that fits. I think that would be kind of a, an, an interesting idea if you had these NPCs actually doing something else like like actually uh, maybe farming the wheat maybe ones out actually looking for gold in the river whatever they're doing and they put their stuff in chest and, and so you want to keep them in this village happy and doing whatever because they're actually getting resources for you Gotcha. and maybe you have to do something to facilitate that get them food or you know keep the bad guys away from the village because they'll kill them but now you turn it into that some of them do turn into werewolves. So where do you draw the line of do I kill him or do I just try to stay away from him so he'll continue to get me ore out of the river? Something like yeah. that. I think that'd yeah. be kind of mm. interesting. I also think it would be cool if, you know, that it would be neat if you weren't paying attention. All of a sudden your villages were hostile to you. You know, you're walking up at night and all of a sudden, oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you kill them all and the next day they don't spawn back. I know. And you're like, oh, my poor village. You're like, what happened? Yep. That's exactly. People feel remorse when they kill vampires. I mean, werewolves. <laughs> that turn out to be their their kin. Yep. Their kin folk. There's another one here. All right. You want to read it, Brent? This one here is from the Ferguson kid. That Ferguson kid. Oh, that one. Not no, no, the. I'm talking about the Ferguson kid. Oh. Whoa, the, He's oh, talking the about original? that Ferguson kid. <laughs> which that, in that turn. That freaking Ferguson kid. That's right. <laughs> freaking. Okay. Anyway, they want, uh, both of them want a proper trading system. What do y'all think about that? A proper trading I, system. I think that's fair. I think trading is, yeah. Oh, yeah, where you don't have to throw it down and just pick it up. Yeah, the yeah. whole tossing in the river thing is pretty silly. In the river? Yeah, you know, where you have two-way water and a wall. Oh, And you take yeah. your item and throw it in the water. Yeah. And then they take their item, and then if they don't throw their item, you jump in and grab yours again. Right, right. And then, and then when they throw theirs, you jump in and grab yours. <laughs> yeah. Real quick. Because they can't yeah. do the same. Well, but there's always a point where <laughs> someone's going to get screwed, right? <laughs> so, yeah, like what you're saying, there is time for a yeah. proper training system. But yeah. there's also plugins, you know, where you can share a <laughs> chest with someone. Mm -hmm. So then you can both put your stuff in and and steal it from them. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, we're not talking about how ways to to cheat people, are yes, we? We're talking no, about ways. No. yeah, proper trading system. Yes. Yeah. Ding. Uh, yep. There's going to be a bucket That's mod it. for that, I would imagine. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. there is. Surely. And don't call me Shirley. Um, we're all counting on you. This uh, next one is uh, by Thurbleton. <laughs> All right, you got that, Thurbleton. All right, better better terrain generation control. 
Uh, the ability to supply a percentage chance for each biome to generate. Uh, this could be used to create cu uh, themed worlds on SMP servers, e.g., or example, <laughs> e.g., egg, uh, <laughs> desert world, water world, uh, even maybe an all underground world. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, so it's like sliders, right? Yep, you, sliders. you slide the mountain yeah. down, you slide the water up. Like your civilization and, mm -hmm. sliders. Yeah, you know? you I go. want more continent, I want more water. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yep. oh, okay. You like it, Brent? No, give it a down one for me. You please. hate it? I I think they kind of already have that with the seeds. I mean, you can find a seed that has what you want, and with RNG, it doesn't really matter. You could still get absolutely what you don't want or something, right? If it's... Oh, yeah being randomly generated even if you're saying hey do more of this well, yeah, but i think still what they're saying the is they water. want let's say we want a world that's 90 percent desert right you know so you make the slider for desert a lot you know higher than everything else so the probability of getting a lot of desert is, is greater yeah. i mean you can do that with seeds but it's just you know finding but finding the random. seed that you want yeah and, and astro yeah. says that's far too random brent he's in the chat room hey that's it <laughs> So um, our uh, our next one is uh, submitted by Retro Guy Fox, and there's an instru instruction here from Ostrogali there, Eric, if you'll pay attention. Oh, get the buzzer ready. He wants more stuff to farm. Uh, the addition of tomatoes, lettuce, carrots, and celery to be to be grown. Also, sandwiches that use the new meats, <laughs> being able to make mayo <laughs> using milk and eggs, and getting mustard seeds from chests like melons so that you can make mustard. And finally, with all the new veggies, you can make a salad. Okay. You can open a deli. <laughs> I got I got one thing to say. <laughs> Y'all are like sheep what, here. Just what is it says this, get like, the buzzer ready. What I mean, what is this like? Okay. Co cooking mama all of a sudden? Yes. Yes. But what if is. they did different things? Like, yes. Oh, yeah. If all you can do is feed yourself, then yeah, all we need is a cookie. Right. Or a golden apple. Yeah. But if they all did different things, it could be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. maybe yeah. the salad makes you regular. Yeah, and <laughs> like you, get a ton of, you get a ton of poop blocks. That way. Okay. <laughs> you wake up and you take off your depends and you pull out your poop blocks. <laughs> I think Since there's no commode yet. Do we need an outhouse? Probably use different types of vegetables to attract certain animals. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, rather than use wheat for everything. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess so there's no harm in in uh, overabundance of items, right? As long as. As long as it's not uh, deterring away from other things we could have, right? And that's <laughs> that's yeah. just a we we know that there are just a few coders creating Minecraft, and we can say stop working on salad and and, w and work on this, you know. <laughs> but but other, but so, but besides that, pretend like Mojang has a thousand coders and it's no big deal to do yeah. anything. Yeah. Pretend that, and then say, what if there was five thousand new food items introduced? Who cares? Yeah. Right. Doesn't get in our way. So well, it's just more things to look at, right? You yeah. can decide to grow tomatoes or whatever in your garden. Right. While someone else and maybe that's it. Maybe some are rarer than others and you can actually trade with people. What was on that SMP. game? Crossing Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. <laughs> like in Animal Crossing, you could grow one thing on your trees. And the only way to get the other things is either to get them off the beach, I think, if you got lucky, mm -hmm. or to go to someone others someone else's uh server. Where, say, they grew bananas. Well, then you could take a banana from their tree and plant it in your <laughs> yard. Yeah. Or you could just go to Facebook and play Farmville. That's true. <laughs> nice. And not Minecraft Farmville or something right. like that. And on the same thing about them, uh, you know, not having all these coders or something, I had an idea for uh, to come up with more buildings. Like, if they made a tool that was kind of like the, a selection tool, mm -hmm. kind of like we're used to from the mod admin stuff, but where you could make a building... And then kind of select it and then kind of submit it somehow. And then this could become part of their random... Like, they just look at the building and go, oh, that's cool. And then it could be part of their random terrain generation. You know, put it with oh, this type yeah. of block building. So all of a sudden you're getting all these weird different... Maybe even a castle, you know, just... Oh, yeah. Just crazy different things. And they're not sitting there having to actually build it and decide. Right, yeah. It's being generated. Good ideas. Pretty good stuff. Open up a deli, mm -hmm. sell some sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, I like the deli idea. Some slods. <laughs> slods. Yes. Some grinders. What's a salad? Some hoagies and grinders. Yes. Oh, SpongeBob. So are we getting into this next segment? 
Are we? Uh, have we had enough? I think we have had enough. Have I've, I've gotten my daily recommended, recommended amount of fiber. All right, excellent. All right, let's do it. Sightings. Oh my god, it's so intense. It is. It is so freaking intense. And you know it's what's sightings. intense? What is? Is today we actually uh, are sponsored the sightings from the uh, two awesome gamers. Uh, so if you love your shaft like they do, wait, what is this? Their message, love your shaft. Yeah, they love our shaft. Uh, no, no, love your shaft. Oh, is it to it, you? It gets a little dirty, but that's okay anyway. <laughs> so they say check out youtube.com slash two awesome gamers. So uh, we appreciate that. If you want to sponsor the sighting section, go to our deadworkers.com slash sponsor page and it'll tell you how, I think. Sweet. So we got uh, some cool stuff here. We got uh, an unusual tip for getting performance boost in Minecraft, and this is this is weird. This is a a Reddit post of this guy who apparently was getting um, awesome frames per second, like 130. He says uh, by keeping a game open in the background, and the specific game he had was Need for Speed Most Wanted. But I don't think it matters. It's it has to do with what is being loaded. Uh, at the time, what what drivers and what what things are being loaded on uh, an Nvidia? Let's see, he has an <coughs> Nvidia card, doesn't he? Anyway, it's an interesting uh, uh, article. So, so like the 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 big game optimizes the display options, and then Minecraft just uses it because that's what it sounds like. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, there's a mod that you can download. It's called Optifine. At least I think they went through a name change, but I, I did a video on it. And you can add that into your jar, oh. and um, and it gives you a whole bunch of video options. Oh, neat! And it ma it makes a big difference. Yeah, you can um, you can easily gain ten, fifteen, twenty frames per second. So that'd be good for let's plays and great recording. for laptops. Yeah, if you have a laptop that's a little underpowered in the video department, oh. then grab that Optifine. I think it's called Optifine. It is Optimine. the Aquason is. agrees with you. It used yeah, to be called Optifog. Plus Optimine, and now it's called Optifine. Yeah, right. So Fog cool. and Mine is now fine. Oh, okay. Optifine. There you have it. Sounds good to yep, me. That's the one. <laughs> what? Brett's whoa, turned what? into a bobblehead over there. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Uh, also, there is a uh, a Weeping Angels mod, and this is submitted by Why Star would you, Scream. Why would you want to do that? That sounds freaky. Isn't yeah. that just like Enderman, but but different? It's very creepy. And we'll have a we'll have a link to a video you can see it in action, or just Google it right now. Submitted by Star Scream. Star Scream. And then we have a video that is Minecraft Office submitted by the Crystal Crow. This is cool. This is a live action, just a little short skit of some dudes messing around in the office. It's funny. It's good. It's like a minute long. It's worth watching. Uh, and also, oh yeah, remember the old. Uh, CTR four that happened a little bit ago. There's yeah. a there's a Team Gold highlight reel uh, submitted by Pretzelcast, and you can check that out on YouTube. Short. It is out now. Mm -hmm. Hey Pretzelcast. Hey 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 hey. What up, Papa? And what is Mob Saloon? Mob Saloon. Oh yeah, I put I put that in there. That's a uh, it's it's a 3D um, animated cartoon. It's only a couple of minutes. I just found it. I don't know where I saw it, maybe on Twitter or something, but... Um, it looks amazing. It's worth watching, yeah. And this guy, Slamacow, is that the name I put in there? Slamacow. Yes. Slamacow. YouTube username. He's got a whole bunch. It's like a, not a series, but um, just various cartoons or comics. And he did a really nice job. They're hilarious. Wow. So well well worth that. Well, well worth it to go check those out. And that one's called Mob Saloon. Very cool. I'm watching zombies playing pool. Yes, it looks pretty yeah, good. Zombies <laughs> playing pool and the, and the <laughs> creeper drinking at the bar. And, <laughs> and then you've got Steve who pops through a, a wall and the music stops. Like, <laughs> 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 but he turns to look at Record Steve. Skip. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and then we have the Ultimate Miner. The Ultimate Miner. This is uh, Simple Gamers versus Michael. Remember Michael from a few episodes ago. Uh, this is the uh, it, it's a Minecraft game show. Has this been done before? Has there been a Minecraft game show? Not that I know of. Thinking it might be the first one. 
uh, called The Ultimate Gamer. Our first two contestants battle for supremacy in this amazing first episode. And uh, so definitely check that out. Game shows are cool. That's pretty cool. Minecraft. So like in the first one, I think they're making the two players make like a, a, a working door, like a redstone door. And stuff. So oh, yeah, it's, like it's like quick challenges and stuff. Like, yeah, that's cool. Stamina, <laughs> test your stamina cool and your thing, idea, your mind. And then the last thing we have here is remember that video we did last week? We built this town we live action week. music video, uh, original song. Some people are thinking it's a parody. It's an original song, and uh, well, we put the behind the scenes up this week, so that's on our channel. So and it answers many frequently asked questions in the comments. Did you do this all in front of the green screen, or did you do it in town? Yes, we yes. did it in town. We and did part of it in town. And you'll still get those questions. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And we made every the heads day, every hour. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all the props were made. You can see that there in the video, and it's about five minutes long. It's it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's great. I did watch that today, actually. Cool. And I guess that really does it up. That was uh, it for sightings. And uh, do we have anything in this one? Who's there? Housekeeping. Uh huh. <laughs> Housekeeping. Come in. You you want mint for pillow? I love mints. What about you, Brent? You want a mint? Uh, not really. Oh, okay. I've got balls mints. mints. <laughs> balls mints for pillow. Boars? Is that like boar's head? Balls. Balls. No, we boar's hate those. Boar's head we mints. Hate those. Get out. We don't want you anymore. <laughs> Is that like roast beef mints? <laughs> you ever had roast beef mints <laughs> before? Ew. No, that doesn't sound it doesn't pleasant. Doesn't sound very appetizing. That doesn't sound. I had appetizing. a bacon one, bacon mints. But I do, I do have some delicious balls mints. Oh, balls! Yes, You're trying B to give us balls. A W L S balls mints. Balls. Oh. Yes, it's if, a, I, if you had told me I could have put balls in my mouth, I would have been much mm. happier than. They're they're caffeinated and they have a, a slight fizz to them, like pop rocks. Oh, yeah, that's pretty more. awesome. Here you go. Okay. Help yourself. All right. So, uh, what do we have in housekeeping? Well, it looks like Brent wanted to thank all the sponsors that he was worked diligently to get. Yeah, I and this may be left over from the last show. Cause, uh, yeah. But um, we should still thank him again because it was no, very kind. No, no, I think they should only get one. That's, really? That's really enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so, like, wrong. Like, meh. No, no, they've got to. No, seriously, we did have a lot of people who uh, threw in and helped out with uh, the Dead Workers Party Party. So we definitely want to mention them again. Of course, uh, Lethal Drive gave a free server. Valve gave a ton of uh, free swag. Uh, we, I actually won one of them over here. It's the white and blue version of the sticky bomb uh, because, uh, you know, I won TF2 and beat those other people with my partner, Moot. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Who, who, who is the people that you built? <coughs> oh, that's right. You. You yeah. were one of the people we beat. Yeah, yeah. Like, handedly. Like, yeah. what is it? Handedly? Me What's the word? Handily. 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 Yes. Yeah, like, it was really easy, is what I'm trying to say. It was yeah. like, I don't even know why they played. Went, went, why did y'all sign up again? You went, went too far. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, anyway, we also want to thank Balls, because uh, they have great uh, mints, and uh, we balls. think... Balls. You think, you know, so the chef... So they mints? Is that what that is? That's yeah, a these chocolate mint from Balls? Caffeine mints. These were caffeinated little mints. It comes in a little tin. And they do mainly uh, drinks. They're more of your, like, you know, caffeinated drinks with guarana. Uh, but uh, yeah, well, there uh, it is. That's balls. Yeah. It is. I I just Pretty showed. Ballsy. I just showed my it balls is. on cam. <laughs> he did. You can only see my balls on the shaft. That's right. Nice. And yep. of course, Curse. Balls. <laughs> Curse gave us five premium <laughs> uh, memberships. Uh, so we'll be uh, finding ways to get those out. Paul's gonna give one of those out, and that'll give you a chance to win an all expense trip. Doesn't that sound like like? <laughs> win this contest to uh, possibly win yeah. another contest. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Wait, what, uh, am I? I'm giving out balls. No, no, no. Premium membership to Curse. <laughs> okay. You can give out balls all you want. <laughs> Let's make it a package deal. <laughs> <laughs> nice wordage. And uh, <laughs> Deal News also supplied an 80 port gigabit switch for us. And Makers Local ran a tournament. And of course, Crommy, Joe Hills, and Jeremy Autumn all sponsored as well as at the beginning of the show. We had Mad Mert, uh, uh, Matt 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 Suku Five was that yeah. it? Yeah, uh, something like that. And then Stephos Walk bought us some pizza. Stephos Walk bought us some awesome Terry's pizza. Om nom nom nom. That nom. was good. And I gotta add her to the sponsors page on the DWPP. That way, I, I, I don't ever forget again. Yes. Yeah. Ever. And at this point, are we just shouting out to people? We're just shouting out to people. Shout All right. Out. Well then. How about? <laughs> All right. Shouting out. 
Oh, that one wasn't that? as loud. Was no. it not? No, that's no. good. That's fine. Yeah, no, I'm Love happy it. about that. Okay. You don't want to yeah. play it again. Good but job. I wanted to I wanted to shout out to Swamp Chick and uh her her son Eggs uh five four two two two. Yeah. From uh Louisiana. She sent me a bottle of rum in the mail. Rum. You know what they gave me? How cool was that? They gave me some uh some Arr. beignet mi- some Cafe du Monde ben- beignet mix. That was nice. that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm gonna make my wife some beignets. Nice. I don't think she sent me anything. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> if you had been at the DWPP, maybe she would have brought yeah. you something. Send me some balls, would you? I will send you some <laughs> some balls and laced Feeling beignets. I'm licking his balls right now. Oh, Yikes. they're delicious. Yes. They're, they're fizzing in my sweaty mouth. balls? Yeah. We're going and, uh, too far. She also gave uh, Jacob a, a cloak. She gave her cloak to Jacob. So you are. Oh. That is so awesome. Is, wow. He doesn't know yet. I'm going to surprise him and tell him it's it's a birthday present. No, just kidding. <laughs> that would be wrong. It's it? a Christmas present. Uh, Instead of so toys, you get a digital and, uh, cape. Egg, and eggs, uh, Swamp Chick Sun actually won the uh, tournament, the Minecraft tournament at the uh, DWPP. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so that was awesome. That'd Big shout cool out to all you guys. Gift a, a, your cloak, or additional cloaks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like I'm hoping there's some way to get some there to give away or something. Yeah, we'd yeah. like to give yeah. away some capes. I think that'd, that'd be, be awesome. awesome. Yeah. Uh, and uh, how about you, uh, freaking Paul, freaking Soares, freaking Junior? <laughs> oh, where where are we? I'm looking at. You got some uh, shout outs? Shout out or, yeah. or what's shout it? out? Um. I did. I had one that I wanted to talk about, and this is uh, a YouTube channel, Durandal of Ages. And I, it's difficult to say, but if you guys want to put it in the show notes. We would love to. Um, he's got a show called, you got the whole chicken, but you didn't get me. That's <laughs> <laughs> a big chicken. Yeah, he's got a show called um, Minecraft Design. And it's, it's something, if you want to see... How, you know, I'm not much of a builder in Minecraft, so I've been watching Stan 21. If you look in the ch- in the uh, chat room here, um, but I'll put a link up. Um, so we'll, we'll have somebody put a link up on the show notes. But his he's got a, a Minecraft designs show, so if you want to see these little things you can do with stairs and and you know you make a bathroom or bedrooms or or rooftops, and he's got this. It, it, it's a very short series. I mean, you know, eight nine minutes each episode. And he kind of shows you the ins and outs on how to make these things. And I've been watching his series now for a little while because I'm a terrible builder. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm more of the adventure exploring type. But um, I wanted to give him a shout out because I, it, it's very interesting. And uh, it's, it's nice to see someone doing that type of thing, you know, just giving, uh, helping people figure out how to make these. You know, when you see like a staircase or something like a spiral staircase, I look at these in some videos and I'm like, how the devil did they do that? You know, and I don't have the time or the patience to figure it out on my own. So it's it. This kind of show has been uh, it's been very helpful to me. Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's stack jump, stack jump, stack jump, and then dig, 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 get back down. Yes. That's my stairs. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, mine are just blocks. Mine are full size blocks and just jump. <laughs> Let me I see ha- if I can find his YouTube channel. I have to do the I have to do the half block thing whenever I do stairs. For I just hate for some reason I hate jumping up. Oh yeah, all the time. Oh, me too. Yeah. So you know what's cool in the stronghold? They actually have dynamically built spiral staircases. Did you mm-hmm. see those? Yeah, I have noticed that in your video, as a matter of fact. They're uh, cobblestone yeah, I, I stairs. I was very impressed with that. They're special stronghold stone stairs, right? Right. I saw a cobblestone stairs in yeah, mine. With a brick. Oh, the yeah, that uh, special brick. I didn't know there were stairs in that brick. Oh, I God. saw it, and in, in Paul Paul now. found a spiral staircase in his. Yeah. Fancy. How to maybe, find a stronghold video. Maybe it's uh, because you were looking in creative mode. I was in creative yeah. mode, yeah. Maybe it's different in there. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I had I peaceful know. on, too. I, I couldn't know. die. Yeah. So, uh, oh, Paul. those are the not huh? the peaceful stairs. That's why. Oh, yeah. okay. Those are those, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> those are the malevolent stairs. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, Paul, uh, do, you, do you play Minecraft when you're not filming anything? Just wondering. No, not generally, just because I don't have much time. Right. So normally when I'm playing Minecraft, it's for a video. Oh, okay. Um, we don't just play for entertainment. It's usually, you know, let's sit down and, and make a video, and we'll play together. We'll have any, you know, Obviously, we're having a good time playing the game while we're recording. But the only time I ever play is when I'm either preparing for a video or recording a video. Okay. I think Eric's I follow-up. Game, really. 
I think Eric's follow up question is when you when you do play by yourself, uh, do you sit there and commentate the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> but now we don't know, right? Now we'll I never know. I play by myself a video game. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I talk to myself quite a bit. Or you talk to the chickens in your room, right? All right, chickens. Well, the chickens are all quite dead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they, talk to them. they don't talk back. Take that. <laughs> and if they do, will they die again? Yeah. Uh, well, I guess uh, we can wrap up here. Um, yeah. Always awesome to talk to you, Paul, and it's going to be great to see you in, in, in real life. Yeah, looking forward to it. 30 days, 32 days. Yeah, yep. 32 days away. And uh, I'm pretty sure everybody already knows how and where to uh, find out uh, where you are, Paul. But do you want to remind them of your uh, YouTubes and Twitters and, and websites? Yep, it's all my username, which is Paul Soares JR. I just put it in the chat room. <laughs> and it's pretty much any way to find me. On Twitter, it's the same username. On YouTube, same thing. Sweet. Cool. And I don't... Actually, I do have a, a, a new Facebook account, too, and it's Paul Soares Jr., P-U-B, at the end for public. Pub. So you can yeah. check that out, too. Well, you know, yeah. I added you as a friend on Facebook just to see, you know, like, if you thought I was your friend. <laughs> to the, my personal account? Yeah. Yes. See, I don't even use the Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and I, the only reason I made this one is because I had an imposter about two weeks ago. Oh, Someone sorry about that. Count on Facebook. <laughs> was that you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, trying to get a few extra hits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I had yeah. like fifteen hundred likes or something. And Whoa! So yeah, Man. my wife ended up finding that page. She's, She's like, like my number one stalker. <laughs> wow! So she I found this down everything. <laughs> Nothing gets past her. On this page of yours, there's an Audible ad on it. Do you know what that is? <laughs> <laughs> as long as I get a share, <laughs> whatever you want. Awesome. Well, awesome. Well, this has been another awesome show. Can't wait to have you on in another 50 episodes or something. That's right. Thanks for having me. 25, 10, 5. Next week. What are you doing next week? No. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, that's it. I'm going to be watching the Patriots game. So let's see. Right now it's 6 to 3, so not very exciting so far. I haven't missed much. Maybe we should keep him on a little longer since he wants to. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, uh, Skype just hung up for some reason. (laughs) Well, I got here at 3 Eastern. Yeah. I actually made a video and said, yeah, 3, 3 p.m. Eastern time. And I was here at maybe 2.30 Eastern time. And Brent's chowing on a, a grinder. That's and right. uh, I found Eric on, on Skype. And he said, no, it's CST. So it's 4 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah. After I put the video up, yeah. That's right. <laughs> about yeah. 700 people sitting here waiting to see me. It was like, ooh, sorry, guys. Come back in about an hour and a half. I uh, know. It was funny watching the <laughs> chat room fill up. I mean, it went so, from 100 to 1,000 so fast. Yeah, so, I apologize for that. Oh, but that's you right. Your, that's uh, right. Your pants we're, down. we're really angry at you for filling our chat room <laughs> up. That's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Yeah, so do you have a name for your uh, your uh, listeners, followers, watchers, like Soars? I guess the like, No, I don't. I see a lot of a lot of YouTube channels will do that, but I haven't really found anything that's appealing. So, <laughs> how about Polly's? I just call them Polly. my friends. Polly's that's all for now until I come up with something more interesting. Friendy Polly's. <laughs> yeah, Polly's. The Polly's. Polly's. Yeah. Polly's. That's Polly's. Polly's. That's weird. Oh, from uh, Sopranos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly's. Yeah. Polly. Yeah. Polly. Polly Walnuts. <laughs> Holly walnuts, that's right. <laughs> my well, walnuts. We'll call them my walnuts. How's that? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, it was a good show. I liked it. And it gets, um, yeah, let's guys. see, it gets a, it's a chewy, maybe one of those. I think I it's, a, it's, it's almost Halloween. We need a witch. Oh, yeah. What are you, what are you guys doing for uh, Halloween? You got any Oh, no, you're just being houses? mean. <laughs> you're just being mean. Let, let the man go see his football. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's right. You're actually watching. Halloween. You're watching I was hoping football. you guys could send me some of those costumes that you use for the uh, the the video you made. Oh, th- yeah. The, oh, right. It would be very hard to ship. Yeah, they're pretty large. Yeah, are they? And well, we actually fragile. wanted to bring them to Minecon, but we can't figure out a way to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on a plane. Yeah, just wear them. Probably, yeah, you'd yeah. probably get busted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we won't even fit. Let me see there. your ID. Can you imagine walking into the plane with a creeper costume on? All the people who played would be like, no, no, I am not getting on that plane. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Okay, let's it's end the episode. Right there on the creeper joke. Oh, I thought it was ended 